So y'all know my Madonna health journey. Um, duh. <laughs> if you've missed it on my channel, I don't know how. And one of the things that's been really important about, you know, this phase of my health journey is rebuilding my strength, my endurance, and my mobility. And I knew taking this challenge on that I couldn't really do it alone. In fact, everybody around me who's been supporting me in the other parts of my health journey were like, you can't do this alone. I needed a trainer. But I had had a terrible experience with the trainer in the past where he basically told me that I was lazy because I couldn't adjust my schedule to fit the like very un, like awkward times he had available and therefore I was going to be a failure. And it made me feel like crap. So I was not <laughs> looking for that experience again, to be really honest. And I was a little shy about it. Well, then I heard about Copilot and I was like, okay, this might work for me. It's a combination of technology plus human connection to help you build better fitness habits. So what it is, is you go on their website and you kind of just fill out an initial survey. And you're like, this is what I want to do. This is what's important to me. This is how I feel about certain things. Then you get a selection of trainers you can pick from, and then you find your selected trainer and you start working with them. So my trainer's name is Olivia. And this is a little bit of our onboarding call. Outside of that, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, what do you like to do for fun? Any fun, cool hobbies? Yes, so I am actually a pretty active individual. So I like going on walks with my dog. That's something I do a lot. Um, and we go to the park a lot. <laughs> Basically my life revolves around my dog. So you're completely guided through the whole workout from start to finish. You're gonna hear my voice tell you what exercise you're doing, how many reps you're doing, if it's weighted, if it's timed, if we're modifying. So say we're in a hotel for the week and we're, we wanna do mm -hmm. um, incline pushups. We don't have a bench. We can do them from the wall. So I'll always give you the, that feedback on how to modify anything. She is lovely. I'm obsessed with her. And what I'm also obsessed with is through this process, is that they're very mindful of people having different goals and different past experiences with fitness. So this is a body neutral experience. This is not like, we'll get you thin fast. That is not what this is. This is, we'll help you build consistent habits so you have a more fulfilling life, which is my whole shtick. Can we talk about like literally exactly what I was looking for? Once I like had my first onboarding call with Olivia, I told her I wanted to work out three to four times a week and she literally kind of assessed where I was at through our conversation and gave me three workouts to try. And when I did the first workout, everything was super hard. It was so hard. There was an ab section where I was doing dead bugs, which is where you do like this, the arms and separate. Oh, mother of pearl, did I realize how weak I was. And I remember sitting in that first workout being like, John is filming this and I am super embarrassed because in some shots I looked like, mm, and in some shots I was, you know, struggling to breathe and like, wow, I just realized how far I was from my goals. Like literally so far from my goals. My goals were like very far away. But I also realized that I wasn't alone and this was just the first workout of the rest of my life, right? Like these changes I've been making in my life are not about a period of time, right? This is not about, you know, working out for six months. It's about working out for the rest of my life. How do I find a balance? How do I find comfort? And, and really Copilot has offered me that. And I'll talk about why it's offered me that. I talked about how I'd had a bad experience with my trainer, right? I have a weird schedule, right? My schedule is busy, it is not predictable, it is inconsistent, um, and I can't guarantee that every Monday at 2 p.m. I can train. I wish I could. I wish my life was that simple. Heck, I would love a little less chaos, but that's just not how my life is. So with Copilot, I choose when I work out. And I can also choose where I work out. So sometimes I am literally in a hotel room and that is all I have. What's really cool about this is Olivia can adjust all of my training to fit wherever I am. 
She also gives me personally backup training options. So like if I have a last minute trip pop up, like I had a last minute trip pop up just like two weeks ago for Houston and I had to do my workout in a hotel room. She had for me a workout routine that worked for a hotel room, saved in my extra workouts so that even if I had a last minute trip or had something unexpected happen and I had no equipment, that I would be able to keep my consistency. And that for me has been like the biggest change in all of this is that now I'm finding a way that I can work out wherever I am. And I have a teammate who's helping me figure out that process of working out wherever I am at whatever time it is. Another really good example of this is I knew I was going to Puerto Rico and I did not want to stop working out. I wanted to make sure that that even if it was like the worst workouts I'd ever done in my life, I wanted to make sure that I stopped and tried to do a workout. But that meant, again, odd times, odd equipment. I actually had her come up with routines for me to do on the beach because I thought, well, if I'm at a beach shooting in a swimsuit, I can take 30 to 40 minutes and stop, do a workout and push in. Or if I'm really sore, I can do this workout in the water, which will help my joints. So we worked together to come up with a plan that worked for that travel experience so that I would know that no matter what happened, I would be prepared to keep the consistency of this adventure. And I think that is like for me, what this is all about, right? We are bombarded as plus size women and men and, and they's with imagery and and marketing that tells us that the reason we work out is to shrink ourselves or the reasons that we move are to become some perpetual person that is worth more and better than we are right now and this is the first fitness experience that i've personally had where that was not in the narrative at all we never talked about my weight or my size we did talk about my mobility. Now, one of my big goals when coming in here, and I do not like the word transformation because I am still the same person, just a slightly different packaging as my body does change a little bit, but I love the word journey because it has been a journey because I would not be where I am today if I hadn't done all the steps along the way to get me here. And that's really what fitness is. It's taking one step forward every day and eventually looking back and seeing you're a mile down the road. And I feel like right now I'm a mile down the road and I can look back at when I started this experience versus when I, where I am now and go, wow, things have changed a little bit. Candidly, I'm incredibly more flexible now than I was at the beginning of this journey. And I think that is the thing that I am seeing the most. My mobility is inherently different. And it's not like a little bit, it's a lot. And I'm not a big fan of side-by-sides because I don't want to say like, this one's better because it's smaller or this one's bigger. It's, don't look at my size, guys. Literally look at the mobility of my leg. Here you can see, I can barely get the leg up. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm breathing heavy. And now look at this clip that we took today. Look at the flexibility. Look at the height on the leg. Look at how comfortable and at ease I am doing the exercise. That is, I would say, how many workouts have I done now? Six, 16 workouts. That's what I got from just being consistent on having 16 workouts. Literally freaking blows my mind. It also reinforces the fact that I had no clue what I was doing in the gym previously because I never got that progress when I was just dinking around with stuff down there on my own. And I think that was my favorite um, pastime before. After I had that bad experience with a trainer, I would like go down there and be like, I can work out myself. And I would do like stuff and I would think I was doing something, but it was never consistent enough or in, in a pattern enough that I actually ever built my core strength. And the, the move that made me realize that my body was fundamentally more prepared to handle the challenges that I wanna face was when I was doing this stupid bridge move. And yes, it is very sexual and I do not care. When I lift the pelvis up, I have never been able to do that well. I have never been able to do it with such ease. And then, and with the opening of the legs too, like it's just, I know it's, 
It's not the, it's, it's, it's fitness guys. Just see it as fitness. But I've never been able to do that easily. And when I was doing that, I was like, this isn't hard anymore. This is easy. Like I can just, I can just do this now. And it was such an amazing feeling to have to just be able to do something I haven't been able to do before. And it's not something monumental, it's not something crazy, but it's something, right? And I think that's what I like about Copilot the most is I am seeing my progress. And what's also super cool is it's all kind of attached to my Apple Watch. You guys know that I am very addicted to this thing. <laughs> it's my little child. And they can track your like range of motion and stuff. So while you're working out, if you like aren't doing the full range of motion, your watch will be like, hey, go a little higher, go a little lower, a little faster, a little slower. It like yells at you. So you still get that like <laughs> in-person feeling it's crazy, man. Technology is so cool. But for me, it's generally changed my life in helping me make fitness a realistic thing that I can be accountable for and do consistently. I can't guarantee anything. But let me tell you what happened for me. I've worked out for 16 workouts with Copilot and I'm gonna continue for many, many more. Um, and this is what's changed for me. I'm happier, I'm more flexible, my endurance has improved, and my body is more toned. I don't know if I've lost weight per se because I don't really focus on that, but I notice my body is different. And it is a direct reflection of consistency. Not a miracle cure, not a magical solution, but being consistent. And for me, that's what Copilot has offered me. So if you wanna check out Copilot, and again, I highly recommend you do, it's been absolutely incredible and frankly life-changing for me, you can click the link down in my bio and get 14 days free with your own fitness and health expert coach. So with that guys, I just wanted to tell you this story because I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself of where I've been and, and where I've come from and, and where I am now. Because I know that this is like, this is, one step, right? I've got so much further to go, and I am, for the first time in a long time, seeing real progress, and progress that I'm enjoying along the way. And I think that's important too. It's fun. Working out with Copilot is fun. And if it's not, tell your trainer and they'll make it more fun. That is the magic of having a real partner and technology working together. So with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.